Hello YouTube, KSRC Health Ball here. Today we will be working on my 2004 Ford Explorer XLT. Um, today, as you guys can see, I'm getting bored of the stock color rim, so I'm going to be plastic dipping it black. Um, I'm going to plastic dip the rims. So right now, I'm going to jack up the two fronts, take out the two fronts, and wash it with soap and water. So I'll be right back. As you can tell, they're pretty dirty. And plastic dip has to go on a clean surface. So, be right back. Okay, so since we're doing the two front wheels at the same time, we jacked up the car from the front sway bar, and then we put it up on two jack stands with two cinder blocks just in case the car drops. If the car drops, it falls on the cinder block so it doesn't injure anyone else. So now next step is take off the two wheels, rims, and the wash tools it. you'll need is a flathead screwdriver for the hubcap cover, and you need an impact gun wrench with a three and a quarter um, socket for the lug nut. Now you take the flathead screwdriver and pry open the, the cap. I think there's another hole somewhere over here. Okay. Put your tools aside. Now make sure that it's in reverse position to take off the lug nuts. Now you have to do it in a star pattern. Make sure your e-brakes are on so the wheels don't move, but I know the e-brakes are in the back, but yeah, that doesn't matter. So now you t um, put it in reverse mode. Go to this lug nut, hold it good. Then you go to this one. Make sure it's in a star pattern. Now you go to this one. Then you go to this one, and then this one. Now you can remove the um, lug nuts. Wait. I can always. And now you go to the other side and do the same step. But I'm not going to record that because I already showed you on this tire. Okay, so the reason why I waited so long to um, start painting and showing you guys is because I wanted to do the front ones first to make sure that I did it good. Front ones came out good, but I noticed I, I'm making, um, it's running too much on one spot because I stay at one spot too much. So I would um, like do a light coating as the first coat, like what I'm about to do. Make sure you shake the can good enough. So this is coat number two for the rear wheel. Why is it spinning? What happened?
Hello YouTube, KSRC Help 12 here. Thank you guys for coming this far in the video. I also have to correct myself that there are more coats that you have to put on to the rim. After the third coat, you have to put at least two more coats. The reason why is because it will make it easier for you to take it off in the future if you plan to take it off. I also thank you guys for watching, subscribe and like, and share my video. Thank you for watching. Bye.